Hey guys, I um, just thought I'd make another quick video for you today. Um, in this one, I hope to cover how I made a very, very, uh, pretty much a free electronic boost controller for my Honda. Um, I found this solenoid on a old Daihatsu something something. I'm not sure what it came off, but it's pretty much from a carbureted vehicle. It's essentially a free port solenoid. What this means is that this here is common with power off. The air goes through here to there, or vice versa. Right? With power on, it'll go from here to here. So basically, you only need these two ports. And I'll show you how I hooked it up. What I did was from this line comes from my compressor housing so it goes into the common as a boost reference and the other end goes into this one here so with power off the wastegate will be operating normally right when you switch on power and your EC is controlling it it will basically act as a bleed between here and here it will be bleeding out through this spot to raise your boots as you fit as you see it fitting sorry let me show you how i have this set up in the car okay um this is the tuner studio software for my ecu um what i do is with speedway i don't use right here on the accessories you have boost control which is closed loop boost control i generally don't use that Instead, I use the VVT output as my boost, my open loop boost control. In here, what you basically do, you enable VVT, right? Set the pin to um, board default. The frequency, we'll get back to that, but I have it working around 220 hertz. Seems to be working fine. And how you will tune this is that you go back here and you go under here vvt control table so what i did to figure out the frequency was that i set my frequency my sorry my duty cycle to 80 percent and i started off at 50 if i recall correctly and i did a pull um, my wastegate was set to 3 PSI, if I recall correctly. I did a pull. Um, boost didn't increase. Um, so I increased duty cycle to 75, then 100. And I it started over boosting. I had my boost get set to 11 PSI, just around 220 um, hertz. So I figured that's within the ballpark. It may need some tweaking. It may be 225, but it works right there. And with 80% duty cycle, um, I hit um, 10 PSI. Um, I intend on playing in it today. I, I want to run somewhere in the region of 12 PSI. So my final duty cycle may end up in 84, 86% thereabout. Um, at which point I will go back to the frequency raise it lower it because i i want to run the the 12 psi but i don't think that i should be running 80 percent duty cycle to hit 12 psi so i'll play with the frequency so hopefully this duty cycle will come down a bit hopefully in the 60s or 70s or something a bit lower um but that's essentially what it is again chip solenoid Free pot, one end goes to use the normally open pot with no power connected. Boost reference from the turbo goes to the to the one side of it. The other end goes to your wastegate and connector. One end goes to 12 volts um, key on or constant 12 volt doesn't matter as long as it's used. And the other end of the solenoid goes to your output from your ECU. Polarity doesn't really matter. Well, thanks for watching, guys.